Today in The Sims 4, we're building a tiny toy village inspired by old nostalgic toys. We'll be building here in Henford on Bagley, and we'll be building three different homes today, all of them based off of actual dollhouses associated with each toy. Starting off with our first home, which will be based off of Strawberry Shortcake, but first... This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives with thousands of online classes and members. It's a place to get inspired while exploring new skills and putting them to work. There are so many creative topics to discover with Skillshare, including animation, creative writing, graphic design, and many more. And this is the perfect year to make 2024 the year to bring your side hustle to life. On top of creative topics, Skillshare also offers everything you need to know to go from passion to paycheck. With classes like e-commerce, marketing, social media, freelancing, and design, these classes are led by industry pros who have both the experience and the ambition to cheer you on alongside an active creative community. An example of a class that I find very helpful is called Build Your Dream Business, Craft Your Purpose and Online Presence, which can help your business by defining and attracting the audience that's right for you. So check out Skillshare using the link in my description and the first 500 people to use the link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and let's get back into it. All right, so Strawberry Shortcake dolls came out in 1979. They had like a ragdoll appearance to them, but the unique thing about them is they all smelled like strawberries. Let me show you some of these Strawberry Shortcake doll houses in real life. We have this one, which is so cute. It's shaped like an actual strawberry. And apparently some of the doll houses also smell like strawberries. And we also have this one, which this is a 1983 vintage Strawberry Shortcake doll house. Apparently we have to build this. So as you can see, I've started with my shell already and I'm not gonna be building like actual dollhouses here. Like on this channel, a lot will build in a dollhouse style. I don't think we're gonna do that today. These are all gonna be like closed off, but the roofing on this thing is pretty wild. There are like bumps all over the place. It definitely has a little bit of a curve to it and she is red. I don't even know if I have that bright of a red here. So I'm gonna start with that as my roofing there. And then for the side, I'm going to go in with a half hipped roof and we're gonna put that along the side here. I'm gonna bring it in so that's only one tile big and then I'm gonna just copy and paste that all the way around this area. We're gonna add our roof paint back on there and my trim and because of the roofing I'm not actually able to add a fence there now but I do still want to have some detail so we're going to open up get together and we're gonna use this rail against the machine item. So this is kind of just like a freestanding old looking fence and I'm just gonna size it up and we're gonna have to use this is my fence instead. This thing also has some pretty crazy looking windows. So I'm thinking our best bet here could be these ones from Realm of Magic. If I use these open ones here and then add in detail later, I think we can get it to work. So we're gonna get a couple windows going on at the front and for my door, I'm also gonna be using this really big funky one here from Realm of Magic. There's also a tiny roof piece coming over my door and I think there's also one over to the side. So I'm just gonna add a little bump out here. I'll bring that roofing over and I'm leaving a little space at the bottom here because I'm planning on adding platforms. I'm gonna take a rounded platform piece and I'm gonna start building that out a little bit. So we're gonna have a platform right there. Maybe I'll raise that one up just a little more. I also want a platform like that one right by my door. So whatever platform height we go with, we have to remember to go inside and raise it up that high as well. <laughs> Otherwise your sims aren't gonna be able to get in. But then I also want another layer of the platform and I want it going like all the way across. I think I'm gonna have to redo these. <laughs> This was actually way harder than I thought. I actually had to build the platform and then build a round room on top of that and then raise it up that way for it to work, which is kind of not the right way to do it, which is why we have a little bit of glitching, but now we can go in and add the details. So I'm gonna be using this lattice item from the Romantic Garden stuff pack and I'm gonna put that all the way along my trim here. I'm also gonna put this all the way along the top. I'm gonna size up these Discover University window boxes. The strawberry decor in this game is kind of 
of lacking, so we might have to get a little bit creative here. I was thinking about using this garland item here from the holiday pack, and I kind of want to size that up. I think I'm going to put that over top of my window, so we'll size that one up here, one here as well, and then maybe just one right up at the top. And I also might add a wreath, so it's going to be like a, maybe like a Christmassy kind of strawberry theme. <laughs> Which, by the way, I am filming this near Christmas time, and it is coming up so fast this year. Time is just flying, I swear. I cannot keep up sometimes, but we have this swing set. This one here is from the Little Campers kit. I'm going to add a chimney up here from Cottage Living. I am also going to be sizing up these strawberries. These are from Debug Base Game, and I'm going to be sticking them into these window boxes. Kind of just like a DIY strawberry bush. <laughs> oh, it actually looks so cute. I wish we had real strawberry items in the game. I'm also sizing them up to kind of use as like landscaping, and I'm also adding actual garden pots so you could grow your own strawberries here if you wanted to. All right, so this is what our first strawberry shortcake house turned out like. I'm going to be doing a little bit more landscaping around like the front once we add the rest of the exteriors, but I think this turned out so freaking cute. Look at those little strawberries there. I added a bunch of strawberry details and tried to replace some of the pine cones up top with strawberries. I left these ones though because I thought it was festive. And then going around the back, I also added more strawberries. We've got our our gardening spot. I added a picnic table here with some red details. I feel like we maybe need a plant or two here, so I'm just gonna add those in real quick. Cute. And then for the balcony, I just kept it very simple. It's a very small balcony. So we just have like a tiny rocking chair in there and there's this baby rug from base game. That is definitely a watermelon, but it's the closest thing to a strawberry that I could find at the moment. So that is what we're gonna do for our balcony. I also made a layout, so let's go inside. So when you go inside here the strawberries on the outside are kind of floating around and normally I wouldn't like that but there's something kind of cute about these so I don't know I'm gonna leave them so in here we're gonna have open concept kitchen and living room and I totally forgot we have the perfect wallpaper for this this is from the pastel pop kit and upstairs I'm reusing the same wallpaper it is too good to pass up so we're gonna have that and we're gonna have a bathroom upstairs as well so we're gonna start over here with my kitchen and I'm thinking maybe we use the pink country kitchen kitchen kit counters and I'm also using the country kitchen appliances. I'm using the blooming rooms kit curtains and I'm wondering if I could add the strawberries onto those. Like can I raise these up into my curtains? Oh I totally can. You know we are overusing this hack for sure. Okay so I have my strawberries added to my curtains. I know high school years has a big red rug I could use. Maybe I could put my dining table here or we put it under all of this stuff here which like I kind of like the look of that. And then I was thinking there's there's also strawberry jam, there's strawberry nectar. So I think I might add a couple shelves and we can add more of the strawberry items here. There's also strawberry milk, but I think it goes away when we add it. Oh, there's strawberry cupcakes. The strawberry nectar, I just have to say, is probably so good. I'm downloading the cottage living jam off the gallery and now we have to find the strawberry. I feel like I'm actually at the grocery store. Ooh, okay. These just make for such cute clutter items with their little bow on them. Didn't we get a jam item? with Home Chef Hustle. Oh, that's tomatoes. <laughs> Those are probably raspberries, but you know what? We'll make the exception. I'm gonna add this item here from the pastel pop kit. The symbol for the pastel pop kit is literally a strawberry, but I'm gonna need more strawberry items here. To be fair, I could probably take an entire expansion pack full of this stuff, so... I also think I'm changing my mind about the rug. I am just gonna put it under my dining table. I need more actual, like, cake items, so I'm adding this here. What is this? Um, a cake with style. Sure. I'm also adding the cookie jar with the heart cookies. All right, so this is what our strawberry shortcake kitchen turned out like. I totally would have added the cupcake machine in here. However, that item is kind of pointless now. In a recent update, Sims can now cook their cupcakes in the oven, so there's not really a need. You can do all your baking in here, and it is just so cute. This is totally giving strawberry shortcake. Let's do the living room next. I'm gonna bring my strawberry curtains. When I was adding my stairs, I thought this would be a perfect spot for a reading area. Look at the sun coming in there. My dogs would love that. Their favorite thing is just finding like a patch of sun. Does not matter how big the patch of sun is. And they'll just cozy up and snuggle together like in that little patch. That would be their spot right there. <laughs> so we'll have a couch there. I'm thinking maybe a bookshelf here, which again is going to be pastel pop. Oh, there is also a rug from pastel pop with strawberries on it. I can't do that and the wallpaper though. Maybe we can put this outside. I could 
put this like in the back or something. Or in the bathroom is like a bath mat maybe. Oh yeah, okay, we're gonna do that. Maybe we'll do the cracker rug. I'm adding a table and chair set here from Paranormal. Wait, I found more strawberries. These ones look like they're actually hanging off of there. Okay, wait. Oh yep, yeah, here they are. They are base game debug as well. I guess I'm just gonna place them around. Actually, we could use a dream home decorator bowl maybe as my centerpiece and in there I can add these strawberries. That is a pile of strawberries. <laughs> Wait, I'm finding so many strawberry items. Look at this thing from My First Pet Stuff. These are so cute. I forgot that he holds a strawberry. Oh, I'm using that. Where are we gonna put you? Maybe in the corner? I also added a knitting basket over here. I'm just needing like a few more skill items. Like maybe I can put an easel right there. We can even put a crochet basket next to it. Okay, here's going to be our strawberry shortcake inspired living room. And this is so cute. I love the cottage core mixed with like the pastel pop. It's so cozy yet so vibrant at the same time. Our little strawberry chair over here was such an afterthought. I'm gonna bring it up to the bedroom but how can you not add that? Look at the little tail. <laughs> All right let's go upstairs and I think I'm gonna get the bathroom out of the way. I already have my strawberry rug. We'll add maybe a shower for this one. I'll add my bath mat like right there. Then we can do toilet here and maybe we can do a double sink over there. I'm actually gonna switch my wallpaper to this like sand pink instead. I've added a big mirror there and I feel like I could add some nifty knitting hanging plants. We're definitely toning it down on the strawberry at least a little bit in this one. We've got our strawberry rug. You know what? Maybe we bring in a little cake. You just know this place smells so good. No matter what she does in here, strawberry shortcake bathroom is always gonna smell like strawberries and I'm just wondering what it's like to live my dream. Anyway, here is our strawberry shortcake bathroom and we're finally ready to move on to the bedroom. Now, is there a strawberry print bed? I don't think so. So I think I'm gonna settle for the cottage living pink bed, which I'm adding some of these vines to the headboard, which looks so cute. How I had to do that is actually raise them through the bottom floor because they wouldn't go that low on the wall. So I basically just shrunk them and raised them up like that. They were already stuck to the wall. So I just had to take my bed and like place it accordingly. The really ironic thing here would be if these strawberries started to like smell bad in The Sims, which is 100% possible by the way. I don't really care at the moment because I'm just building based on vibes. <laughs> These are just too cute. I can't be stopped. This strawberry is going to be a pillow. It is what it is. I'm going to add a table over in the corner here, maybe with a cute bear on it. <laughs> Okay, this is getting out of hand. That kind of looks like a strawberry, but like one of the weird ones that you get. <laughs> All right, no more, I promise. I am gonna add a green mirror over here and maybe this is where my chair can go. We're gonna add a dresser over here from high school years. This is such a big bedroom, I could honestly fit a couch in here. Or maybe instead we can put a desk. We don't have a computer in here yet, so we can add that. Oh yes, this one, more strawberries. I did not know I would have this much fun with this aesthetic, but there's a strawberry strawberry turtle. Anytime I find something with this print on it, I am getting so excited. I don't even think I had a strawberry shortcake doll, but like now I think I need one. All right, so here is our strawberry shortcake inspired bedroom. I think this turned out so cute. I'm really hoping it doesn't backfire and get stinky in here because I love it. Strawberries literally everywhere. I love that we brought in the knitting hobby. Strawberry shortcake kind of has that like old rag doll kind of like knitted look. So I feel like it's perfect for a here and with that we're ready to move on to the next one. Let me just delete all the jam real quick. But for the next one we're going to be doing My Little Pony. So My Little Pony came out in the 80s. They were originally launched as ponies with colorful bodies, manes, and they all had a fun little unique symbol like on their sides. And I wasn't sure if they even had dollhouses but some of these are so cool like this one which is shaped like an ice cream sundae. There are some of the more vintage vintage stable looking ones. And I also found this 2007 rainbow one, which I feel like this one would be really fun. Plus with the yellow, I think I could match our color scheme here. So we're gonna start off with our shell and I'm scared to do it, but I think we have to use some round walls here. So I'm taking the rounded room tool and we're just gonna put them together like that. I might actually shrink this and I think I'm gonna make this a stall for actual ponies. So it can be a fully functioning, like actual horse home. And then on the top, we'll build like a 
a tiny little tower, kind of like the one in the picture. And this can be for an actual Sim, like the Sim can live here or maybe even just stay here to take care of their ponies. <laughs> so I think I'm happy with my shell. This is probably gonna be the smallest one we build today. I'm gonna use this yellow siding. And for roofing, we actually have two different colors here. We have like a red one up top, but then we have a different pink one down below. So I'm gonna just take these with the exact same angle, but we're gonna change it up with the roof paint, which I'm hoping doesn't end up looking too weird. We'll do pink trim on that one with the red trim up top. And this way we can add our fencing to the round part, which is going to be kind of annoying. I can't just automatically add the fencing here. And I also can't do it like on the round part manually. So what we have to do is go in and grab the rounded deck. I'm gonna place it to the side here and shrink it to size, which I think is gonna be about that. And then I can add that onto my room. It's a very annoying way to do it, but this is one way that I found works. And I know I want a pink fence. So I think I'm going to use maybe this one here from Strangerville. The windows on this thing, again, are crazy. And I'm kind of considering using these ones here from Cottage Living. Definitely not the same. There's no way I'm finding those exact ones. Another one I was thinking that could work was my wedding stories, but I think I'm gonna prefer the green windows. So we'll do green shutters here. And I need a pink door. I'm thinking about this one from Movie Hangout. I'm adding another green trim. So this is gonna be cohesive with the other one. And then over to this side, since this is technically going to be for a horse, we're gonna be using these doors here from Horse Ranch. I think I'm gonna use them on the side and in the back. And then there are rainbows and clouds all over this thing. The clouds are literally being used as like window boxes. So let me see what we can find. We have this item here from Eco Lifestyle. I think I might size that up like a lot and I can add that there. I'm also going to use it under my windows. I'm gonna add it over to this side and these are actually light. So at nighttime, they're gonna light it up. And for the rainbow, we actually have this one here from Get Famous, but the problem is it's kind of sticking out the side. So what I can do is like squeeze it in there. The cloud is gonna be sticking out at the front and the rainbow is gonna be coming out like the roof kind of. This rainbow is being projected like off the lot into the world and I love that for us. Oh, for my wedding stories, we also have these which are like cake toppers. I'm going to make this one massive and I'm gonna stick that right behind my roof here. So that's gonna be coming off of the roof there like that. Maybe I can also add a chimney and I also need some rounded windows. I think I'm gonna be using these ones from Discover University. Then we can have a ladder going up the side here or actually maybe I can put that on the inside so our ladder will be there and then we can add a door right here. I'm also gonna add add this item here from get together. And then we can actually hang these base game cloud lights from that item. So I'm just going to add a couple of those. I'm gonna add some other items like these from get together. All right, so here is our My Little Pony dollhouse. I am so excited that we're gonna make this fit for an actual pony in this game, but I love all the little details with the rainbows and everything. This whole lot is gonna end up looking so colorful and fun. Over to this side in the bag, I added some horse activities. So we've got a ball back there, the barrels. I also added some hay here, which actually acts as seating. And we're gonna start to go inside here. So on the interior, I know that this whole area is going to be for a horse. So I'm gonna bring the siding in. I think I'm actually gonna just like leave the terrain paint kind of how it is, just like messily in here. We're gonna need a door to lead to my ladder. And we can use the pink lighting here from Horse Ranch. I think I'm gonna add the bed right in the middle here. Maybe we can add something extra here like this archway from horse ranch and we obviously need the horse essentials so like we need the trough the trough can maybe go over here in the corner and then same as the animal feeder obviously in pink i think i'm gonna add this here with like some pretty flowers on it some gear over here as well and maybe i can add some other cute little details here like these bows these are just base game bows and the fact that we don't have these in pink is criminal i think this is cute this is like a little horse bedroom can we call it a horse bedroom i've got some cleaning stuff over here, a little extra detail. And now we need to figure out our actual Sims house, which this is so tiny. I'm thinking that this is probably not going to be an actual home. Maybe it's just like they stay here overnight if they're riding all day. Oh, it's definitely just gonna be a single bed. Okay, we're gonna do a tiny bathroom back there. This is gonna be super tiny, super basic, like shower there, toilet on this side, and we'll do a sink and a mirror. There, we've got the bathroom. And then for the bedroom, we're gonna have to use just like a single
single bed. I still want it to be super colorful. Oh my, we have to use that one. And then if one of these rugs gives My Little Pony, I mean, we definitely have some horse rugs there. Oh, this one's cute too. It has a little dog on it. I've never seen this swatch. But no, we'll have to use the pony one. Maybe I'll make it massive. <laughs> no, I won't. But honestly, if I put a mini fridge in here, like just a tiny little one like that, with some counters, we've got a sink over there, maybe a tabletop oven. Like we got this guy in there and your sim basically has everything they need. We could even add one of the TVs over here, like this one from Modern Lux that functions as artwork. I can get a trash can outside, maybe just like in this corner. We can add a mirror here and hey, this isn't bad. We can even add a bookshelf over here, maybe some fairy lights over here. And I mean, for a makeshift home away from home, this is perfect. This sim is gonna have everything they need. There's even room for clutter over here. I have a counter for prep. I would love to add a little like hairbrush clutter since they're all about their manes. And we'll add another little rainbow statue because why not? Okay, so we have our My Little Pony inspired house here. Honestly, I'm surprised we were able to fit all of this stuff. I was a little concerned about our top floor, but I think we pulled it off and that bed sheet is just too perfect for this. But we've got our two and we're ready to move on to the final one today, which will be built for Pixel Chicks. The Pixel Chicks to Life Simulation Gamer Pipeline is clearly evident here. Basically, Pixel Chicks was like a handheld life sim where you could take care of your Pixel Chick, you could feed her, dress her up, send her to bed, and more. It was kind of like the Y2K version of the Tamagotchi, and I loved it. And they actually came in dollhouses like pretty much every time. Some of them looked different, but they all had the same like idea happening. And I'm pretty sure I had this exact one. So we have to build this. This one it might be a little bit difficult because I'm gonna build it on a diagonal, but it's not going to be as big as the strawberry shortcake one. I think I'm gonna use the same yellow wallpaper I used over here. And actually I'm gonna bring this part out a little bit here. The roofing on a diagonal again might be a little annoying, but I'm gonna add a piece right here to the front. We'll bring that all the way to the back and I'm actually going to bring the back out a little too. So just so it matches the front, I'm gonna copy and paste that and I'm going to use the same kind of roof piece to pull together this part here. The roof paint is purple. Like I feel like I might have to use this one. And then I need something like this on top, but the problem is always the roof paint never matches. Like there's only very specific roof paint that come with these. I wish we were able to actually change the roof paint on it, but I'm gonna add these along the back as well. And I'm also going to bring another roof piece out at the front here. We need her iconic big window at the front, which I feel like I might only be able to fit those ones. I wish it was like one solid window, but I think it's gonna do the job. And then for my door, I was thinking this one from Nifty Knitting would be cute, but since we're on a diagonal, I can't add my stairs that way. So I'm actually going to build out a platform. So those are gonna be my stairs instead. I'm gonna use columns here from Cottage Living. And then for my windows, again, I need some purple ones. I think we're gonna have to go with these from My Wedding Stories. The annoying thing about the platforms is it's gonna cause my roof trim to glitch. This glitch has been happening for so long. So I like to hide it maybe with like a shelf or anything else that kind of resembles roof trim. Like I feel like we can maybe get away with that. I'm adding this fence from the backyard stuff pack. And then there are buttons on the house. So I was thinking what we could do instead is maybe represent those using flowers instead. So I'm going to size these up. We'll change the color of some of them to orange. And there's also a rose bush over there as well. So I'm gonna add that over to the side. So our Pixel Chicks inspired house is all complete. This whole village is looking so cute so far. You can totally tell it's like toy inspired or something along those lines for sure. We've got the landscaping going all the way around and I brought elements from the other homes over here, like these plants going up the wall. I also added some of those romantic garden things which are on every house. And now we're ready to go inside, but this has to follow the Pixel Chicks layout. So in the one that I'm looking at, you can see her dining table, a couch, maybe a fridge back there, and then it goes up to her bedroom. Mine is only one floor, so what I'm gonna do is actually build that room so it's showing exactly the way that it would be with like the window being here. And the color scheme is blue, pink, and orange. So okay, we need blue flooring and blue wallpaper. I'm gonna add an archway here because she always kind of enters at that door anyway. And then instead of the stairs, because I only have one store here, I'm going to add an archway right there. We need a table with a tablecloth at the front. I have never used this table, but I cannot stand it. I can't do it. It looks like it's wearing pants. 
So maybe instead we could do this one. We have one chair. So I'll have my chair facing the window. Perfect. And then we need an orange couch. I was thinking maybe about this one here from base game. And then I think it might be curtains on the wall. I see something orange back there. So I think I'm going to add just like an orange picture, maybe like this one. And my fridge is going to have to be over here, but away from the archway. Maybe I'll just kind of like bring that over like that. And it is also an orange fridge. I mean, as far as I can see, this is the only thing in there. I think I'm just also going to add some lighting and maybe I'll spruce mine up a little bit with like a plant and maybe a rug, but I don't want to go overboard because it is supposed to be minimalistic. So that's what it looks like from the front. And then we need to do a bedroom. This whole layout is going to be so weird. Although wait, because this is on a diagonal, I might be able to get away with a tiny bathroom, like a toilet and sink at the back there. And then I could do my shower right here. I'll have my door leading in right there. And I mean, it's not ideal, but it'll work. You never actually see her going to the bathroom anyway. So it's kind of always been a mystery on how she gets in there. All right. So a small bathroom done. I did want to add some more counters here, like not far from the fridge because pixel chicks can rely on just a fridge and survive, but our Sims, they're a little more sophisticated these days. So I'm going to add an oven here for them. I'll also add a sink, but maybe I'll just keep it in general, very minimalistic in here. I am also going to add an island, I think. And since my layout is so weird and backwards, my bed is going to have to just be open. So maybe we could use a divider. I think I might use like this bed here, maybe with an orange rug underneath. Or what if we do this instead? I added a wall there and moved my island pieces over. And then on the other side, we have the bed. So it's kind of like open, but not, I don't know, this front part was weird. I had to do something. <laughs> I'm going to add an orange dresser in the corner. Maybe over here we can add a table with a TV over it. Oh, like even this one from Tiny Living could work. And then we don't even need the table. We can add like the Tiny Living poof tables instead. <laughs> All right, I have kept this as minimal as possible here, but we've got everything we need. Everything is kind of in a very strange spot. I am happy we got that bathroom to work. They have everything they need in here and the outside is just so cool. I love this. My whole channel at this point is just like inner child healing. <laughs> and I've pulled it together by adding even more rainbows around just so that one doesn't look so random. And I feel like now this is totally giving small toy village. So I'm gonna leave it here. I hope you guys like this video and let me know any of your favorite nostalgic toys. If you guys like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.